good day everyone and please watch this video and also my youtube channel pain free partha and most of the slides are also available in www.painfreepartha.com in the slide sections so today's topic is about recovery scoring systems so many scoring systems like already modified already scoring systems are there we will have a touch and not we will not go into the details of each and everything or whenever i talk anything on academics a big salute to the legendary teacher of two centuries professor ravi shankar and this is our institute mahatma gandhi medical college and research institute pondicherry india and let us go to the topic alrid this fellow started in 1970 this alrid scoring system was started in 1970 this scoring system is commonly used to scale for determining when a post surgical patient can be safely discharged from the pack floor that is what is important secondary to a general stage recovery area or ward or home it is not about extubation and from there to post operative ward it is from the post operative anesthesia post anesthesia critical unit to the ward this is what we should understand from the theater we shift to the post anesthesia care unit from there we shift to home or ward this is from there to the home or ward this is where the scoring system is it was devised in 1970 by george antonia alrit and mexican anesthesiologist he was mexico he did his undergraduate in mexico then switched over to us in florida and he developed a scoring system in 1970 and he himself modified it in 1995 so why modification was needed is in 1974 the pulse oximeter was invented in 1970 there was no pulse oximeter he has to tell the scoring system as color of the patient cyanosis dusk all these things in 1974 pulse oximeter was never identified or invented so he needs to modify for post operative patient to ward and not to post anesthesia care unit this is what is about the simple alrit scoring system is all about what are the advantages of this alrit scoring system it's very complicated no it is very simple all nurses all residents will look after these signs only thing is we have to document and score it do we see patient conscious or not do we see pulse is fine or not do we see bp is fine or not do we see their cyanosis or not all these things are put together so these are the things routinely a staff or resident look in the post operative ward this is the biggest advantage of the alrich scoring system so it is about a r triple c what is about alrich score a r triple c activity respiration circulation consciousness color a score of 9 out of 10 was considered adequate for discharge from the post anesthesia care unit a r c c 210 210 210 210 210, 210 scores out of which 10 is the maximum 9 is fine now we will go to a r c c c la a what is the activity he can move all the four limbs on command not you should be painfully touched that is very important on command or voluntarily then it is two points able to move only the two extremities one point that is why in spinal anesthesia is very important he cannot move the lower limbs so the maximum is nine only unable to move extremities voluntary and command he is not able to move the upper limb also then it is zero able to breathe deeply and cough freely <laughs> is fine then it is two points is not able to cough freely the cough is little this thing so there is a limited breathing the breathing is not very regular there is some distance all these points to one and he goes into periods of apnea then it is zero so activity respiration in activity four extremities are moved only two extremities no extremity respiration able to breathe normally regularly and cough free there is some limitation is one apnea episodes are there in it zero now we know ar 
what are the triple C issues now? Circulation. BP is less than 20% of the pre-anesthetic level, 2 points. 20 to 49%, 1 point. 50% of the pre-anesthetic checkup. We should know that it is both sides, low or high. For example, a pre-op BP, pre-anesthetic BP is 120. 20% less is 100, less than 100 is also 1 point. If it is more than 150, it is also 1 point. 120 becomes 150, only 1 point. 120 becomes 90, 1 point. So more than 50%, if it is 120, it becomes 240, then it is 0 points. So at 150, it becomes, uh, sorry, at 150, it becomes uh, 220 or something like that. Half of it is increased. 120 plus 60, 180 it becomes. That is 50% of the PNS actually increase. So it may be high or low. Consciousness fully awake, arousable on calling, not responding at all. In color, it is normal is two points, somewhat pale, dusky, blotchy, slightly. It's not, I am not very satisfied with this. This becomes one. Cyanosis is zero. So circulation, Consciousness and color. 20%, 20 to 50, 50%. High or low. In consciousness, fully awake, arousable on calling, not responding. Normal, dusky, cyanosis. Now he modified the average score. He added something. Heart rate is also should be included. 20%, 20 to 35 beats, 35 to 50 beats. Changes in ECG rhythm. All these should come in the hemodynamic saturation or the circulation section. BP, heart rate and changes in ECG region is somewhat modified. But these additional points may change over our target score. Color is gone by the invention of pulse oximetry. 92% on room air, 90 to 92 or less than 90. This is 2, 1 and 0. Now, this already score is A, R, C, 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 a score of 9 plus or 9 is needed for shifting out. This is a modified already score. Activity 4, 2, 0, 2 points, 1 point and 0. Able to deep breathe deeply and cough freely too. Dyspnea or limited breathing. Apnea. This is BP again. Fully awake, arousable and calling, not responding. Here, where it changes, modified already score. Yes, you can add in the circulation, heart rate, and ECG changes, but the original modified already score contains ARCCC, where the change is only in the oxygen saturation. 92% is 2 marks, 90 to 92 is 1 mark, less than 90 is 0 marks. Now you can see the good. Sometimes in the examination, we can see. So much of you ask a simple question also from the candidate. Sometimes, many times, there may be good answers. Modified average score is acceptable also in pediatrics. Able to move limbs, is conscious, is moving around, saturation is fine, BP is fine, heart rate is fine, everything is fine. Yes. See here, implementation of the modified average score reduces recovery time after non anesthesiologist administered procedural sedation. Now GS endoscopy is going on. Some nurses are administering anesthesia. You just follow up the Ulrich score. You are fine. That doesn't mean I am saying okay for anesthesia being given by the non-anesthetist. Desflurane or propofol, both are the same with respect to modified Ulrich score. Yes, we have given GA, we have given desflurane, we have given TIVA. All these things does not matter. If you are given block, you have given spinal, you have given epidural, all these things does not matter at all. These are fundamental signs. A, R, C, C, C. Activity, respiration, consciousness, circulation and color. So this is not going to change if it is going to be desflurane anesthesia or propofol anesthesia. There are a lot of, now we know, all rate score and modified all rate score. There are innumerable other scores. Stewart simplified score. You see here, only consciousness, airway and movement. Purposeful movements too. Good airway is two. So it is maximum is six marks. 
they say 5 out of 6. There are a lot of scores like this. Marshall and Chang in 1999, he said, this is not okay. Your modified Alred score may not be okay for ambulatory surgery. What he said was, activity, yes, it should be steady gait. He cannot, upper limb, lower limb movement is not enough. He should be able to walk without giddiness. He requires assistance. He cannot walk. These are the three things. Activity slightly changes whenever you consider ambulatory surgery by Marshall Chang's recovery score. He is able to walk. This is very simple. He is going to be discharged. This is an ambulatory case. This is a daycare case. We have to check whether he is able to walk without assistance. That is two marks. Bleeding. It does not require dressing change. For example, we did one circumcision. We wanted to discharge. But we changed it two times. There was this thing. Patient was starting. Bleed if the, the soakage was there. So you need to be there for some time, six more hours. Then we discharge the patient. Make them home. So bleeding is very important. Two dressings or more than three dressings means zero marks. Circulation again, same 20%, 20 to 40%, more than 40%. This is 20 to 50, 20 to 40. Pain, minimal to no pain. It is controllable with oral analgesics. If you take plain paracetamol or plain ultrasound, it should be okay. This target is not met means zero. Pain is severe means zero points. Nausea, emesis. None to minimal, moderate, severe. So, I am going, this is dolar and this is emesis. So, again now, Marshall and Chang 1999 was activity, what is this? Breathing, circulation, dolar and emesis, pain and emesis. The scores should be evaluated over a time period, you know. 11 o'clock morning, we have seen. 12 o'clock, what is the score? Yes, it is improving. No, no, it is not improving, it is static. This should be evaluated in borderline cases. Yes, 10 o'clock, the score, already modified already score was 6. It has improved to 9 in 11.30 p.m., 11.30 a.m. That's fine. What is Quinn's recovery score? Yes, activity, respiration, circulation, consciousness, ambulation, color, nausea, vomiting. See, all these things, here you can see minus 2. The vomiting means he decreases the score. He should not go out. Ambulatory curse. Vomiting means he should not be discharged. That is why he has put minus 2 here in Quince. This is a white score. Bypass back in daycare surgery. Now, very small surgeries. You have given some sedation or something. And the patient is out. And an adult circumcision. Something like that. Patient is, you can bypass back and directly go home. That is what is why. Physical activity, hemodynamic stability, respiratory stability, saturation. You see here, pain, emesis. All these two important things will come when we want to discharge directly to home. Again, you see post-operative nausea vomiting. This is another score, efficacy, safety score. There are a lot of scores. Stever score, Quinn score, Void score, efficacy, safety score. Yes. So many things, post-operative pain, no dear minor, circulatory, all these things again comes. What is patch post-anesthetic discharge scoring system? Again, you see vital signs, mental status, pain, nausea, surgical bleeding. Here you can see intake and output. He has taken oral diet and not vomited. He has voided urine. All these things are a must for patient, sending patients home. We are doing some surgery. And we are sending the patient home, for example, tonsillectomy. He has taken oral diet. He has taken some sips of water. Not vomited. He has voided. All these things are must to discharge. So, post-anesthetic discharge scoring systems. There are a lot of modified post-anesthetic. You can see pain, voiding, surgical bleeding, slightly modified. IV sedation after minor gynec procedures. Should not be bleeding. That is very important. For example, they have done abortion, MTP or whatever it is. All these patients may vomit. They should be able to ambulate. Voided. All these things makes patients fit to go home.
new assessment aid for the recovery room pass there are quality of recovery scoring systems there are so many scoring systems there may be sometimes major surgeries it may not be but sometimes patients will be in critical care unit they may be shifted they may be shifted on catheters to wards they may be shifted on sometimes in noradrenaline in trip to the ward also so this is not completely this thing in major cases in all the patients now you see we have given a perianal procedure and the patient is given ivn perianal sarvanal sarvanal and the dagani eating sarvanal dagani eating okay kaiya thookinga saturation probe dagani eating ah okay then kaiya thookinga pappa edathu kaiya thookinga kaiya thookinga ah okay kaala thookinga ah okay ah saturation probe ka Show the monitor. Show the monitor. Now you can see patient is opening the eyes. Patient is opening the eyes on command. Also, it is okay. Two marks. Putting out the tongue. Op uh, lifting the upper limb. Lifting the lower limb. Saturation is 97 or higher. BP is 120, 70 or something. All the scores point out to 10 in this case. Now another case we see here. Prepare. Nanda na kani eating a papa. Okay. Wala the kar thukenge. Wala the kar thukengla. Yada the kar thukenge. Ah, rent kaiy thukenge. Rent kaiy thukenge. Very good. Ah, okay. Nanda kar kar. I'm focused. Eh? Enough. stop it so this is very clear it is 10 out of 10 in a patient's de extubated case so what is the key message i want to give activity respiration circulation consciousness color ar to c is is okay think about pain nausea voiding and whether he takes oral diet and not vomited all these things in de care settings Thank you very much. My website is Pain Free Partha. He is missing, and YouTube is Pain Free Partha. Subscribe to this channel and get more notifications about continuously being put more and more videos for you. Thank you very much.